Hello, everybody. I'm on my Bluetooth here. Um, I hope the audio is coming in okay. But uh, it's been a couple months since my last update. The last update I did was um, I did a little video with my Food Go box. It's probably about three, four, five months ago now, I guess, um, that I covered that. And I was honestly very surprised at the... Uh, the food in the box was still quite uh, edible looking. I didn't eat any of it, but, you know, I just put it back in the box and, and hope that it's still good the next time I open it, you know, if the SHTF, if the shit hits the fan. So, but, uh, yeah. So that's what I, uh, that's, that's, that's one of my little updates. Um, other than that, I mean... It's uh, the end of 20, 2021 now. I mean, it's 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 come to the end of twenty twenty one, and <laughs> and everything everything is just as upside down as it was before. Like in twenty twenty, early twenty twenty one, everything is just as upside down as it was before. I mean, on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm going to pop the video in here before I post this or whatever, but yeah, watch, watch the video of Joe Biden and the, 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 the dad of the kids who, uh, duped him. Daughter. <laughs> Tell me your granddaughter. I hope you have a wonderful hey, Christmas. Well, yeah. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas as well. Oh, Merry thank Christmas you. and let's go Brandon. Let's go Brandon. I <laughs> yeah. agree. Hey, by the way, where are you in Oregon? Where's your home? I think we lost him. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, so the dad, you know, the kids were like talking to Joe Biden or whatever. They don't, you don't really don't hear that part. But then the dad comes in and says like, oh, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and everything. And let's go, Brandon. And Biden, as lost as he is in life, as lost as Joe Biden is, he's like, I agree. Let's go, Brandon. And I felt so sorry for for his wife. She knew. I mean, she she she's knows a lot more going on than he does, but uh, she knew what was going on. And and that dad, you know, let's go, Brandon. And he's like, I agree. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> that that was classic. That's going to go down in history as probably one of the best trolls in the history of like U S politics. And a lot of people tried to say it was like a deep fake, one of those deep fake videos where you can like fake, uh, like voices and people and everything, you know, to, like, but no, it wasn't, it wasn't, it got, it got covered in the, in the mainstream media. Um, mainstream media covered it somewhat like very little, but, but then like people like Tim pool and like, a lot of the other right wing people picked it up and stuff and and they're not, you know, and the right wing people these days have to be very careful about what they do. You know, they can't just, they can't like just post fake stuff because that's going to discredit them. You know, the right, right wing is like stronger now than it has ever been um, on the political side, because like, for example, um, gun control gun control was a huge thing like a couple years ago after the uh florida school thing and um the, the the sandy hook and all that stuff you know gun control was like the biggest issue on the left but now it's not anymore all of a sudden and why why is it not a big issue anymore because now a lot of people on the left a lot of just average folks on the left are waking up to what's going on in the country these days, to the crime, to the uh, inflation, to everything else. And there's probably just as many people, honestly, on the left now that are buying guns that, than there are on the right. You know, most people on the right already have guns. We've, we've had guns forever. But the, the biggest purchasing group in the country right now are the people on the left you know the the, the people who are I, I don't want to say woke they're not like 
quote unquote like leftist woke they're awakening they're awake and that's two different terms for the right and the left you got like a woke on the left you have the awake on the right um and people are awakening to the madness that's going on with inflation with the covid mandates with the potential lockdowns um they don't talk about a lot a lot on mainstream media but but like in in Europe and Australia and New Zealand and Austria like all these different countries and everything people are standing up and they're protesting they're protesting the lockdowns but it's not getting covered you know by the mainstream they're not talking about it um but 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 it's happening it's happening everywhere Russia um Russia not so much I mean Putin I mean, goodness gracious. I mean, I hate to say it, but, but, you know, from an American point of view, Putin is probably a better leader than, than most out there. He, you know, he's somewhat of a nationalist. So it's like Russia first, which is the way every cut, every leader, no, no, no. Before you get all triggered or whatever. Any leader in any country should hold their people highest and hold their people first. They should be the, those people in their country as a leader of that country. So if, it, if, it's, if it's a U.S. and say, let's go back to the Trump days, he held up America first, America first and everything. You got Russia, his people, Russia first, Russia first. And you have like the Hungarians, the Austrians, the Australians, the New Zealanders. Their leaders should be putting their people first. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, with putting your own people first. Now, sure, you're, you know, every country has some pressure on the borders, some immigrant, you know, immigrant issues and people wanting to come in and everything. That has to be dealt with. But in every country, the people should be put first. And even in those immigrant countries, the, the people that are, are the leaders that those people are fleeing from should be doing their best to put those people first. Why wouldn't you? You know, think about the logic of it. You know, why would a leader push people out of their own country and turn them away from them for no reason? You know, maybe there's a reason. I mean, it depends upon different geopolitical and socioeconomic, you know, issues in each one of those countries. But, but why would a leader purposely, purposely push away his own people so they would immigrate somewhere else? You know, so doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But uh, yeah, so I'll just leave that at that. I'm gonna pause here for a second. You know, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense why why any leader of any country w would want to push out their own people, again, for no reason. So, that's all i got to really say about that topic. So, so we have Joe Biden <laughs> basically agreeing that they should, let's go, Brandon. I mean, that's, uh, I'm going to play it again. Well, I hope you have a wonderful hey, Christmas. Well yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas as well. Oh, Merry thank Christmas, you. and let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I <laughs> yeah. agree. Hey, by the way, where, are you in Oregon? Where's your home? I think we lost him. Yeah. All right. Okay. There you go. <laughs> it's good, 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 good stuff. Um he was completely out of it, completely clueless. You know, Kamala Harris, you know, a lot of people have been bringing up her vice presidency and everything. Now, Kamala Harris, like the whole VP, the whole VP thing is very much like the, uh, I forget her name. It was the uh, woman from the Seinfeld series back in the day. Um I'm not even going to look it up, but, but she, she, there was a series where she played the vice president 
and she was like disgruntled and she wanted to be the president and her staff was like disgruntled and everybody was just sort of always pissed off. There was always like some drama going on in the VP office. That's exactly what Kamala's office is now probably behind the scenes. If if we could only see it, if we could only see what was actually going on behind the scenes in, in Kamala's office, Kamala, Ka- Kamala's office right now, that would, it would probably be exactly what was going on in the TV show, which was absolutely freaking hilarious. You know, it was a, a great show. Um, yeah, I, I'm recording on my phone, so I don't want to like look it up. What's her name? Uh, you, you got, you got on Seinfeld, you got like Jerry Seinfeld, then you have like George Costanza, his, his character. And then you have the chick, uh, the, the, the woman, the, the Burnett, um, I, I I can't pull it out of my brain at the moment, but but uh, th- that's who played the part in that TV show. <laughs> it was so so good. Um, I mean they 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 did like campaign stuff like during the campaign, like you know how how just disingenuous they had to be just to to fit in, you know, to fit into the political narrative, and it it's it just. It was a premonition to exactly what we're going through now in the country, probably in in, in Kamala's uh, Kamala's uh, party or in her uh, staff. So, but yeah, I'll leave that at that. So that's that down. Um, let's see, COVID, Omicron, Omicron, moronic. It's an anagram. Uh, anagram, anagram for moronic. So. Take O M I C R O N. That's uh, and you rearrange it. It's moronic, and that's what it is. It's moronic. It's 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 a much less deadly strain. They're trying to make it out to be the big deal, but um, and I and I actually looked at a uh, fact check for a article or so, it's, it's something somebody tweeted where they said there's been like. I, I think the the person on the on the right actually tweeted that it was a uh, that one per one person had died, and it's not that serious. So so somebody on the right posted that it, one person had died and it wasn't that serious, and then somebody on the, uh, the the fact checkers on the left came back and said that it was more serious, but only Britain like Britain for example only reported. 14 people dying. So 14 people out of everybody in Britain, everybody everywhere else. And then the, they, they brought in another country. I think it was a country in Africa that reported like one supposed death from the Omicron, from the moronic virus. Um, so th- they didn't do a real good job at fact checking, you know, because normally it would be like, Oh, only one person's died. No, 20,084 people died. You know, it's like a huge deal. But they changed it from like one to like 14 and then mentioned like there was one more in another country. So if you take all those people, like potentially, like if you if you do the per capita, like one out of every 100,000 people or whatever, it's, it's not even one probably. And no, I, I know it's not. It's not even one out of 100,000. It's probably like point, like zero two or point zero one, out of a hundred thousand people. It's it's that mild. And then you know I then I was out at a a bar earlier you know tonight and and a lot of medical people and city people and government people and stuff come in there, and even even they were saying that you know from. Like on the in the in the internal talkings of their offices and everything, they're saying the same thing. You know, it, it's 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 mild. You know, everybody just needs to get like herd immunity. The quicker everybody gets the Omicron, the moronic uh, strain, then the quicker we'll get some level of he- herd immunity, which is true. You know, despite no, despite how much Fauci wants to downplay the natural immunity, despite Again, Rand Paul wanting to promote natural immunity. It, it's all political. It's just all political stuff, and it's it's getting really old. It's getting really tiring. 
so that's that's sort of where we are now. Um, I can't think of any other major major things. You know, outside, I mean, there's there's a ton of them. I mean, Afghanistan's still a screwed up situation. There's still people there, and <clears throat> Biden's ignoring it. The whole border, the border czar thing with uh, Kabbalah uh, being the border czar, she never did go down there. Um, so that's that's just a that's just you know immaterial. Dude, when it comes to the administration, when it comes to CNN, they don't even talk about how she hasn't been there yet, how she hasn't actually gone there and actually done any real investigations on the on the border crisis. Um, and then now they've reinstated, supposedly in the last few months, the Title 42 or Title 41 or whatever that Trump had in place. They're actually putting up some wall again, actually, on the border. Um, that's probably why they're not going down there right now is because they're actually reinstating the same laws or whatever that they, that, that Joe Biden signed out of law when he got into office with executive orders. You know, he signed out a lot of the stuff, you know, Trump put in place with executive orders. And then now they're having to put them back just to like save face, you know, to say, Hey, we're actually doing something. Yeah, because everybody saw how bad it was. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to jump out, guys. It was good to talk to y'all again. Um, you know, subscribe and do all that stuff. I'm, you know, not a huge channel, so I don't really care if you do or not. But if you want to subscribe and be a part, you know, somewhat of this, if I get more active and stuff. And I will. I will at some point become more active and, and actually get some more... Uh, uh, focused and direct, you know, podcast when it comes to like, you know, survival and just general, general topics, then, uh, please subscribe and like, and do all that stuff, share everything and all everything. So have a good night. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Peace out.